Dun, 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 dun. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another review from me, Matt. Wait for it. The Bit of Berserker. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there, wherever you are. Well, it's only the start of the day, so not much. Hopefully, can have gone wrong. so wrong so far. And I have another review for you guys. Absolutely stunning news. I've just gone past the 18,000 views on my YouTube channel, which is absolutely spectacular. Now up to 404 subscribers, which is absolutely magnificent. I cannot thank you guys enough. It means so much to me having you guys liking my videos, enjoying my content, finding it useful. Because like I've said on every single video that I do, purely interested in helping, supporting, encouraging small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there and not huge, massive, massive faceless brands, factory made to. And so that is why I've created my Instagram account, Viking Beard Matt over there and my YouTube channel, which seems to be doing okay. If you were thinking that this video is gonna be full of like music and things popping up and intros and outros, not going to be happening because I've only got my little iPad in front of me that I do my reviews on, then upload them on YouTube afterwards. You will also notice with all my reviews, there are no cuts or anything like that. There is no editing whatsoever. So if something goes wrong, I literally have to stop it, restart it. And occasionally it takes me up to about 10, 15 goes because the post gut comes, the dogs start barking, phone starts ringing or something like that. I really, really want to keep this going, what I am doing. I would love to go do a lot more full time on my YouTube and Instagram and start doing Facebook and stuff like that. But alas, I need to work unless somebody out there really wants to sponsor the channel, which would be great um, because I, I want to make what I do sort of like go out to as many people as I possibly can do. What I've set up, is not about me, you know, it's just about trying to show you guys that there is an alternative out there and we need to help support, encourage these small brands and individuals and craftsmen out there that are ama making some amazing stuff. So if anybody would like to sponsor the channel, please get in touch with me, either send us a message, email me, comment down below, because I want to keep this going and make it as good as I possibly can do in order to help the small brands and individuals and craftsmen that I set this up full. So I have another review for you this morning, and this is the third review that I've done for this chap. And with all the videos that I do on my channel, stuff that gets sent through to me, stuff that I go out and buy myself, I'm completely honest with, okay? Since day one, if you want an honest review, look no further, because if there's something I don't like about a product, constructively, I will turn around and say why well, I don't like it. And on the other hand, if there's something great about the products, I'll say reasons why I like it. So I'm completely honest, completely unbiased. Everything I do is my own opinion, okay? So, a couple of days ago, a product turned up for me to have a look at. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can read my notes and see what I'm doing, because if not, I'm as blind as a bat. <coughs> So this is from the Bald Viking. Some of you might re remember um, that I'd done a couple of reviews for this. He's kind of pretty much just starting out. He's just bought out his third scent, which he has very, very kindly uh, sent through to me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. As with all the reviews I do, I will be sticking the descriptions down there somewhere in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because each and every single person that subscribes is really helping build what I'm trying to do and achieve here. So this is from Callum, who basically runs and makes and creates all the products for the Bald Viking Beard Company. And so we're gonna be looking at the packaging, the ingredients, the scent, if there is any, I know exactly if there is a scent because I have used this, so I know exactly what it's like. It's not just an unboxing. I'm not particularly keen on unboxing videos because how are you supposed to know what the product's actually like if you haven't used it? So just because you open it and it smells pretty or whatever doesn't necessarily mean it's a good product. And then we're gonna be talking about the price. So 
I received a letter as well. Matt, that's me. I uh, hope you're well, mate. I've sent you two bottles to grace your beard with. The first is my new release, the Berserker's Rage, a floral blend with a citrus twist. I find this to be a very deep and powerful blend, so I hope you like it too. The second, is, which we'll talk about shortly. Um, enjoy my friend Callum the Bald Viking. So we'll talk about this, the other one that he sent through as well, very briefly. Um, towards the end of the review. So the first two that I've actually reviewed is the first one that he bought out called the Forest of Valhalla. Very, very nice beard oil. The second one that he has bought out is called the Shield Maiden, which I reviewed, I think, around about a month, month, couple of months ago. Again, very nice. And the third one that he's bought out is called the Berserker's Rage. Quite apt as this is the Beard of Berserker channel. Um, this is his little card that he sent through uh, with it as well, with his logo on it. It's nice to see um, kind of like the, a different logo as opposed to the kind of the regular silhouette of the beard and sunglasses logo that you see quite a lot. And so you've got the Viking skull with the beard on the front and on the back of it is all of his um, sites and everything that he's on. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, email and website, which I'll be putting links to down below in the description box. So this one is called the Berserker's Rage. Um, basically, ingredients wise on the back, directions and important. And because these are all handmade and in small batches, you've got the batch number as well, which is always nice to see. Um, ingredients, castor oil, sweet almond oil, essential oils, uh, you've got mandarin, neroli, and lemon. And this was the original packaging that he bought out on his bottles. It was kind of a bit difficult to read and everything, which is why he's got these cards now on the back, which is, makes it a lot more readable, legible, whatever you want to call it. And switch to kind of like using these oval labels on the front as opposed to the square ones, as from the Shield Maiden. So very, very nice. Comes in a green glass bottle. Let me just get rid of this for purpose of the review. Comes in a green glass bottle. Reason why you tend to find a lot of beer products in these colored bottles is it stops UV rays from out there coming through. Getting into basically the bottle and breaking down, degrading, destroying the oils and everything else like that in there, which is why you tend to find green glass bottles, amber glass bottles, opaque bottles and stuff like that. Loads of different colours, Bristol blue and everything like that. Comes with a rubber pipette method of delivering the beard oil, which is kind of my preferred method of delivering beard oils. Um, on a daily basis, I use six or seven drops. Um, if I've wash my beard usually twice a week then I'll use eight drops maybe if I've had a busy day at work then I'll put a few drops in my beard just before bed just to put a bit more nourishment into my skin and my beard hair so let's just give this a shake and I have tried this I know exactly what it is like so ingredients wise like I said castor oil and sweet almond oil then you've got your essential oils as well all products have been CPSR checked because um, in Europe and the UK you need to have that in order to legally sell your products. If you haven't got them, you can't sell them. And so just going to have a quick smell from the bottle. I don't usually do this because I'll explain in a second. Quite subtle scent from the bottle, but we know like I said on previous reviews, slightly pale yellowish colour this thing. Quite a thick oil as well, not a kind of really runny one that pees everywhere once you put it in your hand. So the reason that I don't tend to smell beard oils now from the bottle is it's all about put, generating some heat through it which helps to kind of release the scents and everything in there. Floral and citrus, definitely. And it's, this is one that the ladies will like out there. I've got some scents out there that I'll put in my beard that I personally like, that my wife will basically come up with, I don't like that one. And well, it's not your beard for a start, but this is one that the women are gonna like because 
I wouldn't say it's got a perfume smell of it, but it's got a very nice, what I would class as almost like a unisex smell. So if you've got this one in your beard, your other half's gonna like it because it does smell florally and it's not too kind of like running through a field of flowers because there is those citrus notes that are just knocking through it just to kind of keep it nice and balanced. So it's not too citrusy, not too florally. And it's, a, I haven't actually smelt a beard oil like this, to be honest, and I've reviewed well over 100 beard oils now. This is really nice, you know, it's very summery as well. I think that one, in my opinion, because we're all entitled to our own opinions, would go very well with a woody scent as well, because the citrus would cut through the woods, plus you get kind of like the spruce, sandalwood, um, oak and piney sort of smells and everything. I think this would go really well to make it like a winter scent. It would also go very well with your citrus balms, even a spiced um, orange or a lemon or something like that would go really, really well. Um, you could almost make a Christmas scent out of it. And I really like that. And on the scale chart, just put, make sure the lid's on that because I don't want to throw it everywhere. You've got very subtle, medium rip your head off look at it strangely and kick it into next week this is kind of around about your middle in sort of smell and i found with using this over the past couple of days that the scent is lasting that i can smell around about the three hours especially with winter coming and now you're getting the breeze so it's really nice that once you put the beard oil on the breeze goes through your beard and you kind of get wafts of the oil and then after about three hours, I can't notice it. But with the missus coming home from work, she says that she can still smell it. So that's good because obviously your scents, they get kind of used to the smells and you kind of forget about it, move on to the next scent and everything. And it's nice as well. It's a thick, uh, or it's not ridiculously thick, if you know what I mean, but it's a thicker oil um, due to the castor oil that's in there. Really seeps into the skin and beard very, very quickly. I've also done test patches as well. I've had no problems with having allergic reactions to it. Always make sure you do a test patch first when you're using skin products, hair products, and stuff like that. Last thing you want to do is slather your face in the stuff and then suddenly turn into some sort of, I don't know, vampire or werewolf or something. But it's a really nice smell. And um, like I say, I've had no problems. It does absorb into the beard very nicely and very quickly good at nourishing the skin and putting the oils back into your skin because as your beard grows it pulls all the oils out from your skin so it helps to replace that i've had no problems with beard uh, skin itchy red skin beard draft and stuff like that very very nice scent and i was kind of quite surprised with this one because as soon as you hear the sort of berserk um berserkers rage i'm built up a mental picture in my head of what I thought it was going to smell like before and I thought it was going to be a really intense kind of smell and it's nice that this one has kind of like is completely different um, so far like I say I've never experienced uh, floral citrus uh, beard oil like this before and it's very good and the other half likes it and um, just doing a bit of a comparison against the shield made i'm just making sure the scent from this is gone it's good for your tattoos and skin in general beard oil so always put sort of excess on your or anything you've got left over on your arms i'm just going back to the shield maiden because i just want to compare the two i know they've got the same sort of carrier oils in them now it's funny this one's kind of to me, has got that woody sort of pineus and everything to it, which I think quite happily you could have reversed the two, if you know what I mean. So the scent that's the floral um, citrusy scent, I think would have been just as good as the Shield Maiden and the Berserker's Rage as this one. Because in my opinion as well, which we're all entitled to our own opinion. I do find the Shield Maiden slightly more 
of of manly ascent, if that makes sense, and the berserkers rage to be slightly more of a kind of nice, feminine, relaxed sort of one, even though it doesn't really matter, they're just names at the end of the day. But really, really nice scents, and it would be nice as well, because that's a very good oil to see the balms coming out for these, because I think the Shield Maiden would work extremely well with the Berserker's Rage in an oil and balm combo, if you know what I mean, a bit of one and a bit of the other. They're really well made. And to be honest, I've had no problem whatsoever in these products. I think they're really good and well made and hat off to Callum for doing that. And scoring it out of 20, I'm gonna give this one the wrong wrong one I'm looking at, sorry. Uh, the Berserker's Rage. Must have been in the shield mode still. Um I'm going to score this really highly at mm, 19 or 20 out of 20. I'm going to score this one at a 20 out of 20. And the reason I say that is because, like I say, in my opinion, I would have, thinking of that, I would have assumed that Berserker's Rage would have been the Shield Maiden, and the Shield Maiden would have been the Berserker's Rage. But like I say, that's just down to labelling. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day what the names are and everything. But it is a really beautiful, florally, citrusy beard oil. Does what it says on the tin. And at the moment, there is a bit of a sale going on with um, the Bald Viking. Uh, that The original two, the Forest of Valhalla, and the Shield Maiden are both on seven pounds each for a 50 ml bottle, which is great. And the Berserker's Rage is 12 pounds. And I believe that these two are gonna be going up to 12 pound at some point to sort of like for the rest, for the whole collection, if you know what I mean. So it's gonna be the price for the Beardles. Would I pay that for that? Yeah, quite happily. I think they're extremely well made. Each and every one of them is completely different. Each one smells like the profile that it's supposed to be because there's nothing worse than going out and buying a beard product. It says in the descriptions it smells of something or other. You get it back and it's like, I don't smell of that at all. So it's nice to see that there is continuity between all of the products. There is not one sort of better than the other, if you know what I mean. They're all across the board extremely good. And well done to Callum for creating something really good. Um, just Keep on plodding away, mate. You've got some really good products going out there. Don't stop now. So it would be interesting to see what your balms are like if you start bringing balms out. So that is my notes for that one. A small batch, UK-based. Um, it's free shipping as well in the UK. And there's also just a standard fee uh, for shipping worldwide as well, so there you go. Now also, he has sent through another one, which I'm not going into details with. Second is my concoction from your Halloween special. Well, as you know, I've got a Halloween live special, the second one, as the first one went ridiculously well and everything. I've got a live silent review, which is gonna be quite interesting. I've got a few reviews taking place and also uh, a big giveaway as well. And if you want to win the giveaway, you have to have subscribed to the channel. Um, so he sent me through one, which could be a future release. Now, I'm not turning it around because the name of it is literally printed on this side here. The second is my concoction for your Halloween special and possibly a future release from me, depending on if you like it or not. I may change the ingredients. It's a... <laughs> ingredients. So yes, this is... A new one that he may well be bringing out. I'm going to be reviewing this live in the Halloween special. I'm not going to give you any details on it, even though I have in front of me the ingredients and know exactly what it is. And I have tried it so that it's not a complete surprise to me on my live Halloween special. Um, been decorating the review room up ready for it, so it should be a good one. So this is going to be reviewed live during that and if there are any crafts 
out there, individuals, small brands that either want to get involved, sponsoring with a Halloween special, anything whatsoever, and you need a hand, you need a help, you need some support, reviews done, anything like that, please get in touch with me. Like I say, I really, really want to keep this channel going. I want to make it as good as I possibly can do. And I really do hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing because I wouldn't say I'm, I have changed jobs recently and I'm not what you call 100% happy with it, you know. Um, even though it's less hours and stuff like that, it's just kind of like, oh, it's, it's really great and I've got work this evening, I've got work again tomorrow and stuff like that. And I haven't got a problem with work and it's just kind of like something that I was hoping was going to be sort of slightly less stress and everything. It's turning into more bloody stress. And so I would love to go full time with just doing the YouTube, Startup, Facebook and everything else like that. So if anybody does want to sponsor, support and stuff like that, please get in touch with me desperately. I need your help. So thank you guys for that. I may well have another review coming up this afternoon. So stay tuned for that one. All depends on what happens throughout the day. But thank you guys. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping, supporting each other. Keep on loving and encouraging each other. Thank you so much to Callum from the Bald Viking for sending this through. I really, really appreciate it. Top marks on me on the Berserker's Rage. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for your time. Cheers.